Welcome, my beloved, to episode 3 of The Mystical Divine. I am so honored and grateful for being here and so happy that you are joining me in this beautiful, beautiful moment. I am uh, sitting out in a trailer in uh, Utah out in Living Miracles Monastery, out in the desert, and uh, it's been getting a little bit cold these last few days, um, so I'm sitting with my jacket on, and it's just very, very cozy, um, the wind is blowing outside, and, and uh, yeah, and, and my little kitty was uh, playing outside, and she... Uh, wanted to come in, so she's here with me, just resting and, and just being a beautiful demonstration of just being in the moment, just resting and resting in God. Yeah, she's just a reminder, always a reminder of, of just being, yeah, not needing to do anything just play and rest and be. So I'm just so grateful for having her in my life. Um, and yeah, I named her Unity. Yeah, yeah, she's just adorable. So yeah, and um, I uh, felt this morning to uh, go out here and talk a little bit about uh, undoing expectations and um, and this morning I yeah I was just in meditation and it was just like washing over me undoing of expecting anything from anyone or myself included or anything in this world and uh, it was just a beautiful uh, beautiful um, awareness that came over me and I went out in the trailer to turn on some heat so so it could be a little bit warmer um, when I was going to go out and yeah and, and just see what comes just record and see what comes don't really have like a plan in, in that way just this feeling of of letting go of expectations. Um, and uh, what was coming to me was, um, yeah, when I have expectations about anything at all, then I feel disconnected. Then it's like a strain. And I, I'm, I'm sure you know the, the feeling and the experience of it. You know, when we expect anything then we lose our peace and uh, and I was um, is thinking about that I yeah seemingly the body of Svava is going um, flying to Cincinnati Ohio tomorrow um, because I felt a strong inspiration to um, to start uh, doing some renovation of the old um, house we have there, called the Peace House. It was built in 1847 and uh, it has had a lot of upgrades since then, but still it's, uh, yeah, it's not very functional in many ways and very, very, very old furniture. And so, uh, yeah, so I felt this huge inspiration to go... Um, and um, start, yeah, start giving it some TLC and and just being there and and really, really using it for uh, listening to spirit. It's not really about uh, anything in form. It never really is. It's an opportunity for me to just listen and and listen to spirit and follow and um, and just be in the presence 
of spirit is really a practice of undoing any plans or expectations or anything about it not even having expectations about that it's going to be renovated it's really a yeah it's such a beautiful uh, opportunity to let go of that because it looks like something in form but it's always an inward journey and um, yeah so I was just really feeling the experience of um, of deep deep letting go and, and it felt so joyful just very very uh, exciting just in the moment not about any future outcomes or anything just it just felt so joyful in my heart just the uh, just the letting go, you know, letting go of everything and, and how, it, how freeing it is when we don't have any plans or expectations. You know, really seeing that there really, truly is no future. It's everything is just in this glorious moment. Everything is here right now. And, uh, yeah, it was... I just was sitting there and and it was all washing over me like wow there is really nothing to do really for for the person Svava she does not need to do anything she can't really do anything it's all tuning in to to spirit and uh, to to the higher self um and let that come through because there is uh, there is knowledge there the only knowledge is there uh, in the presence of the truth so uh, yeah the little little me doesn't know anything truly um, and trying to know or figuring out it's just it falls into a confusion yeah really there's a word that has been coming to me that you know the persons uh, persons walking around here we we are all seemingly just confused <laughs> trying to figure things out trying to find the truth and find love and peace and and then you know when we go deeper and deeper it's just this realization that it cannot be found anywhere because it is already in you, it's already in me. I am that. Um, yeah. So yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful uh, journey we are on. Uh, it's just so exciting, and and also I can see that um, when we, for myself, when I really let go of expectations and outcomes and plants and everything then everything just um, is given and such a surprisingly given in a way that I had never ever imagined like can't figure it out it just is uh, yeah seemingly things just pop up and just uh, absolutely amazing so amazing it's just I'm so 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 deeply 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 grateful yeah, so when I, so I'm just gonna fly to Cincinnati at this point. Uh, I don't know for how long. Um, uh, David and I have a retreat in uh, Florida, Saint Augustine, Florida, over Christmas. Um, so of course I'm gonna be there. But yeah, so let's uh, just see how it all flows, and uh, I'm. Uh, yeah, last time I was there, I really, really enjoyed walking in the... There is a big, big cemetery. Um, I think it's the second or third largest cemetery in the U.S. And I just really enjoyed walking there and hugging the trees and just, uh, yeah, got so many uh, beautiful insights and uh, guidance uh, just walking there so I'm probably gonna gonna have some walks there and uh, yeah just see 
see what happens and and uh, yeah we'll probably record my um my podcast there i yeah you probably know i also have another podcast called um, into the mystic um but that is more that has music and it's more like meditations um it was a uh, it was not accepted um, at like Spotify and some other um, podcasts because um, because of the music. So I felt like still continuing with it because I know that many are really uh, enjoying the meditations and it's been very helpful for many. So and for me too. Uh, I just sit down and I start talking and and. Uh, and go into it myself, so it's a blessing for everyone. And uh, and then this podcast here, I felt, um, yeah, I felt the push uh, to start speaking and sharing, uh, because I had this uh, belief that I I can't speak. Um, so I'm just undoing that belief. <laughs> um, so that's wonderful. And uh, so yeah, it just feels very. Um, yeah, it just feels great, and I, I don't have any expectations about doing anything every week. Or yeah, I just go with the flow, and when it comes to strong inspiration, um, then I just sit down and and push the button and record and just see what happens. So this is just a, it. Yeah, it, it's all just an experiment, and. Uh, Life is for me when I it was this one day, yeah, I think it was maybe one or two years ago that it just came to me, wow, life is just an experiment, you know, it's not really anything real and to be serious about, it's just an experiment, and sometimes we fall and sometimes we rise up and and it, and it's just, and we rise higher and higher and higher. The more we just um, let go and and see the unreality of our thoughts and beliefs, and so it's just an experiment. And I remember when that came to me, I was like, "Oh wow, yeah, it's nothing to take seriously. It's just, it's yeah, it's just a blink, you know." It's, it's not long and it's just a short time here and so uh, why not just go all in you know go all in truly be be honest and you know when we fall just rise up and yeah just keep on going and and knowing that we are not alone in this you know we have helpers and and God is with us, and Jesus is with us, and Holy Spirit, and yeah, and all our mighty companions reflecting back at us uh, what we need to look at, and yeah, it's all just a a movie, yeah, it's a movie, and and uh, and we have this beautiful part to play. Um, I'm thinking about a quote from my book um, that, yeah, that we are all just actors and if we play our part with love and kindness then our movie will be beautiful. Something like that. Um, I don't exactly remember the wording of it, but but that's it, yeah. It just It's just a experiment to practice and, and see, you know, when our mind is... Uh, filled with love and kindness, then that is the movie we will see. And uh, and when we feel, you know, angry or sad or frustrated, then seemingly that is what gets reflected at us. And so it's always showing us where our state of mind is. And, and nothing is, uh, uh, nothing is wrong. Nothing ever goes wrong. It's just, uh, it's all just about just the deep letting go and and enjoying the ride and yeah it's uh, yeah 
I'm just uh, very grateful for uh, for sitting here and and talking and just expressing my heart. What a what a beautiful uh, way of extending. You know, we have so many tools today to to share. You know, everyone can make a YouTube account and do videos and share and extend and you know we all have amazing gifts to give and yeah we just yeah it's just find find your gift and and give it away because when you give it away you will fill yourself up with it you know what we give we give to ourselves and so uh, yeah so I just encourage you to do whatever sparks your heart. Follow your bliss and enjoy. Yeah. Hmm. What a blessing. So yeah, I will be uh, probably um, recording. Next time I will do a recording, I will be at the Peace House in Cincinnati. And, um, yeah, and a beautiful friend uh, from Portland is coming. He's here at the monastery um, supporting with a few things for about 10 or 12 days. And then he's going to drive all the way to Cincinnati, uh, all the way across the country and join me. And he's like an amazing handyman, can do anything like electricity plumbing and so uh, so I'm so grateful that he's coming and gonna support me and in whatever and and like I said it's it's all just about the joy and I know we're just gonna have some fun uh, yeah so it's beautiful everything is always uh, given and we don't have to figure anything out and yeah just follow the prompts follow our intuition and yeah hmm. yeah I was thinking about uh, the lesson in the course I will step back and let him lead the way it uh, yeah God always has an amazing plan for us and we just uh, need to get out of the way with our own agendas and personal ideas and wants and think we need things and it's really, uh, yeah, I've just been seeing deeper and deeper that uh, the more I get out of the way, the more miraculous everything becomes. So I, I know, like in my I know in my heart that that God has an amazing plan for all of us. And yeah, it's just a beautiful dance. Life is just such a beautiful dance. Mm. All of it, really, you know. Even when things seem to looks like it doesn't work out and things have, you know gone quote wrong but it never really is when we really look back then everything was so perfectly orchestrated so yeah that's it that's it they're just so loved and and held and, and carried and so yeah so this undoing of expectations this really goes together with I will step back and let him lead the way yeah because the only the only one that has expectations is is the small self it's the ego it's a, it's a trick you know to hide the light and, you know, yeah it's glorious very glorious so, uh, yeah, so thank you, 
Thank you for being here. Thank you um, for all your support and for all your beautiful comments. And it just touches my heart deeply, and it's very encouraging as well. And so just keep on going. And yeah. So. Uh, I invite you to join me and just keep on going and and just follow follow the light be the light yeah it's time to just uh, just be the light and share and extend and and uh, and lead the way you know lead the way for for others to follow that is our only function, just to shine the light so, so everyone turns on their light. Yeah, let us all just turn on our light and, and, and be what we were meant to be. Just a beautiful, a beautiful child, children of God. It's so um, it's so simple. It really is so simple when we just just surrender, let go, and let God. Yeah. Just thinking about the quote from the Bible. Um, I don't remember Psalm what number it is, but it is. You probably already know it. Be still. And know, be still and know that I am God. Yeah, in stillness we uh, we hear this, the guidance. In stillness we hear everything, and it's not a stillness, you know, with no sounds. It's not about sounds. It's a stillness in the mind, a still mind that is free from ego thinking so be still and know because only when we are free from the ego thinking we truly know true knowledge is only of spirit yeah what a wonderful wonderful life and yeah it's just uh, right now it's a very blessed Sunday and uh, yeah it's a beautiful restful day and and uh, yeah, like I said, it's getting colder, getting close to winter, and it's just so beautiful. Just very, very beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for. Uh, for listening and thank you for being you and yeah I wish you the most beautiful day and uh, remember who you are yeah if we just remember who we are then everything is just very very lovely <laughs> yeah Oh yeah, I would love to end with a with a poem from a, from my book that it would be yeah coming at some point. Um, yeah, this this poem is called "Joyful Love." It's very very sweet. Um, One day, love said to me, "Enjoy me, my beloved." Let your whole being be filled with me. Be so filled with me that I will run this completely over and kiss the ground that you stand on. And just as I felt love under my feet, I burst out laughing because I so easily get very chickless under my feet. <laughs> yeah. 
joyful love. That's it. So thank you. Thank you so much. And sending you my love and big hugs and happy, happy day. I love you.